Hello, my name is Ines Lozano and I'm a teacher and researcher at the School of Design of Universidad Politecnica de Valencia. Today, I want to tell you about how to use prosody in a presentation. So there are two main goals to this material. First, the goal is to outline the basic principles of prosody. And the second goal is to provide a general overview of how to use prosody in a presentation. This is the outline of the contents I will be addressing today. We will start with an introduction. We will then outline the basic principles of prosody. And then we will give you tips to use prosody in an oral presentation, only to later figure out the end with some conclusions. So, I'd like to provide you with some food for thought. So, do you think prosody is important when we explain something to an audience? And if so, why is prosody important? What do you think makes prosody efficient? And then, what are the main principles that guide prosodic use? We're going to be discussing these issues here today. So, let me tell you about the basic principles of prosody. I'd like to tell you about three main things. Tone, volume and speed. These three things contribute to emphasis. And communication is all about being relevant, about having a message come across, about reaching the other person. So, let us see how these three aspects contribute to that. First of all, let's start with tone. Our tone of voice will depend on the way our voice formulates the message. So, do we have a question, an affirmation, negation? The tone will be different. If you say, how are you? The tone is different than if you say, how are you? Or, how are you? We may also use prosodic tone to add meaning implications to the message. We may want to be doubtful or ironic or humorous or suspicious. So all of those things depend on the tone. Let's now move on to the second aspect, which is volume. We can speak very loudly or we can speak very quiet. But we may generally use volume to make a speech clearer. That's the main aim of volume. We may also use volume to highlight a specific point. But the main point here is that the volume should be clear enough to be hearable to the, um, to the audience and for the audience to understand if it's too loud or too quiet, that will simply not work. Let us move to uh, the speed. We may speak really fast, we may speak too slow. The re a reasonable speed is key to your audience's engagement with your presentation. So please use a standard speed to make your message clearer. After all, if, if speed hinders in either way communication, it is not efficient to improve the clarity and effectiveness of the message. Remember, communication is all about being clear concise and emphasizing the key points to provide relevant hero friendly information. So bear emphasis in mind when you think of your prosody when you're preparing your presentation. Now I would like to give you some tips to use prosody in your presentation. First, I advise you to adapt your speaking speed to your audience. Are your audience foreigners? Do they speak your language or not? If they don't speak your language, maybe you should speak you know, at a slower pace. If they're children, maybe you should use a slower pace too. Adults, perhaps, don't need that adjustment and you can speak really quickly. Or are they specialists in your field in the case you're an academic? Do they know the words? Do you need to be more thoughtful and mindful in order to adapt your speed? Second, please use a clear tone of voice and adjust your volume to make sure you reach everyone in the audience. Make sure the person sitting in the last table at the back of the room still is part of your audience. Be inclusive. Third, use your voice to emphasize key concepts or important points in your presentation. These will help you get your message across in a much more efficient way. 
However, you should not speak too fast when you're not sure your audience can follow you. You should not use a monotonous tone of voice. You should not speak too quietly. And you should not emphasize the wrong items of your message. Be careful. To conclude, prosody is a part of speech that is often overlooked, but that is key to creating a cohesive and efficient presentation. The key features of prosody are volume, speed and tone, which should be combined in order to emphasize the right elements of your message. Following the principles of communication, as a speaker, you should use prosody to produce clear and efficient presentations that adapt to the needs of your audience. Thank you.